Up With Krim begins now. Welcome back to Up With Krem on our Friday morning. I'm Jen York. Looking ahead to the weekend, we are still waiting to hear whether Spokane County will enter phase two of reopening before the weekend. And joining us on the phone this morning, we have Spokane Mayor Nadine Woodward. Mayor Woodward, thanks so much for joining us today as we navigate this process. So earlier this week, you had joined us saying you were confident Spokane County will enter phase two by the weekend. Where is the process at this morning? Well, my confidence hasn't wavered. I still am uh, confident that we will get word today from the governor's office and the health secretary uh, about our request for variants to open businesses in phase two. And uh, we expect to get that, I'm hoping, sooner than later today so that we can give our businesses notice that they'll be open for uh, Memorial Day weekend. Now, if we do indeed enter phase two, does it start immediately? From what I understand, yes, as it did in phase one. And the reason um, that it'll go even more quickly probably this time around phase two is because the state has provided the guidance to the businesses that can open in phase two with what they'll need in order to operate. Some of that guidance during phase one came a little after Phase one started, but this time, um, most every business sector that can open under phase two has received those guidelines. So that's restaurants at 50% capacity, social distancing, sanitation, that's retail, in-store retail at 30% capacity. And some of the guidelines that go uh, for that business sector, also salons, personal services, barbershops, tattoo parlors, um, pet groomers more manufacturing, um, more construction. So all of those business sectors have received uh, the protocols um, under which they are to operate. So they've had time to prepare. And I've talked to lots of business owners who say they are absolutely ready. Now, yesterday, the Spokane Regional Health District reported for the first time in a couple of weeks that we had a double-digit increase in coronavirus cases here locally. How is that going to impact the reopening of Spokane County? Well, one of the metrics uh, criteria for opening in Phase 2 is the number of your cases. So for a county uh, the size of Spokane County with 500,000-plus people, we can't have more than 50 cases or so in a two-week period. We're right about there. That's just one of the metrics. And the governor has said that we don't have to meet every single metric. The other metrics are hospital capacity, contact tracing, more testing capacity. Um, so, and we have met all of those. In this latest case that you're talking about yesterday where we had 13 new cases, half of those were contained because of contact tracing. So it is working, and I think the governor is much more concerned with the community spread. If we can contain and isolate some of these breakouts, that's far better than uh, if we have community spread throughout Spokane County. So he's going to be watching that data very, very closely. But as we increase testing capacity, I mean, we have to be prepared for our cases to go up. But we, the metrics now that we really need to focus on, and it's something we've been looking at all along, is hospitalization and the death rate. As long as those numbers don't go up, um, we're in a much better position. Now, let's say we do enter phase two today, and theoretically, if we see a spike in cases, is there a chance we go back to phase one? I'm not hearing a lot from the governor's office about going backwards in, in phases, but um, certainly keeping an eye on the data and how the cases, um, if they're isolated or as our health officer, Dr. Lutz likes to say, boxed in, boxing in the virus, um, I think they're gonna look at that more than anything else. So uh, I'm confident that our COVID response will continue to be impactful as it has been for the last 10 weeks. And I just encourage, if, if we get the news today, Jen, that we can open up our businesses, I. Just uh, want to put this out there to our community. Please continue to so social distance. If you are inside and can't be within six feet of somebody, uh, wear a mask. Stay home if you're not feeling well. 
and adhere to the, the protocols of the businesses that you are frequenting. And I just hope everyone has a great weekend, and I hope our businesses are open. I've talked to many of them this week that have held off opening on, in defiance of our governor's order, and um, they are barely hanging on the vine. They need to open. And, of course, that's something we're going to continue tracking today. Is there a plan in place if the application is denied? We will continue to work. Our work never stops. And our work won't stop when we get into phase two, because then we'll be looking forward to getting into phase three. And uh, again, Mayor Woodward will be sticking with us this morning. Again, joining us by phone this morning. Thank you, Mayor. Of course, she's going to be you sticking bet. with us here at 7 a.m. Coming up on the CW22, we'll be talking about more about what the public needs to do if we do indeed enter phase two and what it's going to take to get to phase three. So again, thank you, Mayor Woodward. We'll be talking to her again in about 20 minutes or so coming up on the CW22. Here in the meantime, on our Friday morning, we were just talking about it's a long holiday weekend. Evan is standing by looking about uh, what our forecast looks like. I just stepped outside a minute ago, Evan, very crisp this morning, but hey, it's really nice out. Yeah, things are looking nice as we start off our Friday morning a lot drier than uh, days past, especially through this last week where we picked up on quite a bit of precipitation. We do start off our Friday morning with a few showers off toward the northeast corner of Washington. All this activity really is north of I-90. Uh, going into the next several hours, it's going to push farther to the south, meaning that we could pick up on some showers in Spokane and in Kootenai County. But hey, if you are expecting to uh, be outside for your Saturday and Sunday, things are looking good for you. Today is going to be a little showery and cooler, but look at your weekend forecast. 63 for your Saturday, 70 for your Sunday. Partly cloudy skies on Saturday with just a few lingering mountain showers on Sunday. Mostly sunny conditions out there and those temperatures keep warming up. Next week is expected to be a beautiful one with temperatures warming well into the 70s. We may even hit near 80 degree territory by the end of next week. So we'll have details on what next week looks like and what the rain showers today and through part of tomorrow tomorrow look like details are in just a few minutes but for now Joshua over to you thank you very much Evan lost to look forward to in the days ahead especially as the city gets closer to moving into phase two where a lot of businesses are excited about reopening as well but for local salons and barbers we hear that their customers might actually be more excited than they are Alexander York Hair Salon and Barbershop has been on Monroe Street for years. Normally, customers walk into a room full of decorations. But today, the place is empty. It, it's a little surreal. That's the salon's owner, Cherie Perillo. My dad was a barber for 56 years, so I grew up with it. And now, after decades of cutting hair herself, she's passed the passion to her son. So being closed these past few months has been really hard. It hit my son the hardest because he's single and this is his livelihood. Which is why he and all the other people who cut hair here are ready to get back to work as soon as phase two starts. Oh, if they do, then Tuesday we're hit the ground running. And their customers are pretty excited too. They're like, the minute, the minute your books are available, we want to be on it. But there's some things that have to change, like oh, yeah. clients waiting in their cars, cleaning even more often, and booking less people. We'll be working longer hours to get less people than we would normally get in. So how are they gonna handle the virtual line of people? People that were on our schedule when it closed will be the first ones to be on the schedule when it's opened. Then from there, it's first come first serve. And Sheree is lucky because she has enough space between her workstations so she doesn't have to rearrange, but other salons aren't as lucky. If each location, each space is business owned, you don't really have the right as a landlord to just go, oh, we're gonna take that station out because that takes the livelihood away from somebody that may need to work. As for Cherie, she's just grateful she and her fellow stylists will be able to get back to work. In Spokane, Nicole Hernandez, Crumb 2 News. Thank you, Nicole. Switching gears now, checking in with our own Dana Marie McNichol this morning for a look at the big question we've been asking in our live poll all morning, Dana Marie. Good morning, Joshua. That's right, with phase two of reopening around the corner, we're seeing a variety of questions come into our newsroom about how shopping and retail stores will now look. Well, stores are now preparing for a plan that includes customer traffic management, sanitation, and continuing with pickup options. So this morning, we do want to hear from you, of course. Will you go shopping once stores open? 56% of you are saying, yes, I need to get out. That percentage has stayed pretty true all morning long with the winning 
uh, yes side. Let us know what you think. If you have an opinion, you could always text us at 509-448-2000 as well. We'd love to hear what you have to say. Uh, we just heard from Mayor Nadine Woodward, and we should get word from the governor's office if we can reopen pretty soon here. So looking at those percentages changing just as we speak. Yeah, Dana Marie, it's uh, it's an interesting thing. We were talking with Evan about this earlier this morning. You know, there's a, there is a clear difference between, you know, going out to eat and going shopping. But do you think there's anything to the fact that we can look up recipes and cook in new ways, but we still have the same clothes, the same stuff? Sometimes we just need to change what we've seen in front of our faces for so long. I, I agree. I mean, for some shopping is, is a hobby and it's a lot of fun. Like me, I love going to physical stores and shopping and looking at different things. So I think not only is it a necessary tool to get new clothing, you could also do that online, of course. But um, I think people are just trying to support local as well and just getting back into a sense of normalcy. Yeah, and it's looking like right now we're getting even more of a push towards people saying, yes, I need to go out. It's as much as 60%. This is the highest it's been so far this morning. We would love to hear uh, from you what your take is throughout this Friday morning here on Up With Krim. We are going to take a quick break. We'll be right back with more here for you on your Friday.